Today, we will answer this algebra challenge. And here's the question. If a, b, c are all greater than 0, and given this two equation, a plus b plus c equals square root of 10 plus square root of 19, and the 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equals square root of 10 minus square root of 19, and x equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared, then the goal is to find the numerical value of x plus 9 over x. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given these two equations in 3 variables, and also given that a, b, and c are all greater than 0, and x equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared, then the goal is to find the numerical value of x plus 9 over x. So to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to get these two equations and let's multiply these two. Now, the question is why we need to multiply. So what is the clue? Because 10 plus square root of 19 and 10 minus square root of 19 are conjugate of each other. So if you multiply this, we get a nice result. So why not? Let's multiply these two equations. And now the right-hand side of our equation, this is just equivalent to the square root of the product of the number inside the radical sign. So this is just the square root of 10 plus square root of 19 multiplied by 10 minus square root of 19. And this is sum and difference. So when we multiply this, we have 10 squared minus square root of 19 squared, which is 100 minus 19 and 100 minus 19 simply equal to 81 and square root of 81 simply equal to 9 since a b and c are all greater than 0 the product of these two equations is of course a positive number now we know that the product of these two equations will result to 9 and then what we're going to do is to use the fact that a, B, and C are all greater than 0 because if we have this kind of condition, we can use what we call the AMGM inequality. In other words, the arithmetic mean of some positive real number is always greater than or equal to its geometric mean. And they are equal if x sub 1 equals x sub 2 equals x sub 3 up to x sub n. So using this concept, Let's try to use the AMGM inequality to this expression a plus b plus c. So the arithmetic mean of a plus b plus c is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean of a, b, and c. So a plus b plus c over 3 is greater than or equal to cube root of a, b, c. Now, let's get the value of a plus b plus c. So multiply this equation by 3. So we have a plus b plus c is greater than or equal to 3 times cube root of a, b c and now let's use the amgm inequality to this expression and if we do that we get that 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is greater than or equal to 3 over cube root of a b c now what will happen if we multiply these two results if we multiply this we have something like this and simplify the right hand side we can eliminate cube root of a, B, C because it's just 1. So 3 times 3 simply equal to 9. It follows that the minimum value of the product of A plus B plus C and 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C simply equal to 9. And the product of our equation, this two equation, is 9 which is the minimum value. And this, and take note, to make this happen, A must be equal to B must be equal to C. So using the AMG inequality, we can say that A equals B equals C. Now let's continue. We now know that A equals B equals C. So using the first equation, we can replace this B and C with the variable A. So the left-hand side is just 3 times A. Now let's focus on this result. And if we square on both sides, we have 9A squared equals 10 plus square root of 19. It follows that a squared equals 10 plus square root of 19 over 9. This is the value of a squared. Now, since a equals b equals c, 
B is equal to 10 plus square root of 19 over 9, and also C equals 10 plus square root of 19 over 9. And now, we can now find the value of this x. This is the sum of a squared, b squared, and c squared, which is equal to 3 times 10 plus square root of 19 over 9. And simplifying this, we have 10 plus square root of 19 over 3. This is the value of x. Now, this is x, and we want to add this to the value of 9 over x. And what is the value of 9 over x? This is just 9 over the value of x, which is 10 plus square root of 19 over 3. Simplify the right-hand side. This is just 27 over 10 plus square root of 19. Now, rationalize this by multiplying 10 plus square root of 19 to 10 minus square root of 19. And this will give us 27 times 10 minus square root of 19 all over 81. Because the product of these two expressions simply equal to 81 or 100 minus 19. 81 is just 27 times 3. So this simplifies to 10 minus square root of 19 all over 3. And this is the value of 9 over x. And don't forget, our goal is to find the sum of x and 9 over x. Now, we can now combine the right-hand side of our equation because we have the same denominator. And also, positive square root of 19 and negative square root of 19 is 0. 10 plus 10 is 20. So, x plus 9 over x equals 20 over 3. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, if a, b, and c are all greater than 0, and given these two equations, then the numerical value of x plus 9 over x equals 20 over 3. And as always, we are done.